you really need to evaluate whether the current approach is still the right one for you, even if it's time for a different strategy. And I think like when we look at a performance review, yes, this applies to, or this is applied in a way where we really audit like how much weight have you lost? How much weight do you still need to lose? And you need to assess if your current diet is actually getting you closer to your goals or if it's really creating these like hidden costs that eventually are gonna come back and haunt you. And one key concept here is understanding dietary debt. So what kind of dietary debt am I accruing by being adherent to the current measures? And am I prepared to pay this off post diet? So when I talk about dietary debt, this is really referring to the fatigue, the stress that your body and mind accumulate over time. And this largely is referring to like the prolonged restriction, whether it's cutting calories too low, eliminating entire food groups, or just simply running on very low willpower um, or having to exert all of your willpower every single day for too long of a duration. And I like to think of it like financial debt, like every time you push your body past its limits without allowing it to recover properly, you're borrowing against your future well-being. And for example, like extreme restriction, it might work in the short term. Like this might be something that like you're like, okay, the last three, four weeks of contest prep, they're going to suck major dick. But Yeah, you're losing weight, you're hitting targets, but like underneath it, you are still accumulating debt in the form of metabolic slowdown, increased cravings, hormonal imbalances, and mental burnout. And over time, this debt will need to be paid off. And maybe you rationalize it with like, okay, well, this is the first time I'm getting as lean as I've ever gotten. Um, The goal still warrants that I do this and I still feel like, okay, it might be a little rocky coming out of it, but I know generally this is tolerable. And Whenever people push past really what they can tolerate, this often leads to that excessive weight regain, binging, or just a total collapse in dietary discipline once you reach the end of the diet. And this is typically what we see with individuals post-show when it's like you pushed, like in, in the case of coaches, like you push them too hard to a point that now they are so far from being able to adhere to anything, let alone something that is going to be reasonable and ultimately going to be harder for them to adhere to now that they are post-contest. And like, I think you can ask questions and you can like really assess for yourself like are the current restrictions sustainable in the long run and when I think about like okay the biggest deficits that I've been in okay I was doing two hours of cardio a day eating like a thousand calories and I did this for an extended period of time no that's not sustainable and even during the time like I knew I'm like this is bullshit and it wasn't like hey I'm gonna blame the coach it was rather man like The fact that I'm having to do this, I'm having to be in like thousand plus calorie deficits a day, that's a sign to me that the diet itself was not planned correctly because there's no reason that having 20 weeks, 25 weeks, that I shouldn't have been able to lose the total amount of weight with some spare time to get ready and like bring food back up, pull cardio back down. And sure if we're talking like a day a week maybe we just push a little bit maybe it makes a little bit of sense you know to dig to bring the perfect look to stage now in the case of someone who's not getting ready for contest prep that's where you really have to ask like why are you taking such extreme measures to what to conclude a diet that ultimately like there's no way you can sustain these results because the things that you needed to do to to get these results and to really put yourself in a position they're so costly will i be able to transition out of this diet without overeating or rebounding largely largely for the non-contest prep client i've had clients who've come to me who are like hey i i want to get ready but not for a show i just want to lose body fat as if we're going to do a prep and then maybe closer to the end of it we can decide if that translates into getting on stage typically in this case it's very obvious in the first few weeks whether or not this person is really serious about not wanting to do a show sometimes the focus can shift and can really float more towards like no i really want to get on stage and that's where Ultimately, the goal of getting on stage shouldn't be predicated by just simply wanting to get on stage. It should be predicated on, do I have all the tools and do I have the willpower to do the things that I can that I need to do to get on stage, to bring that conditioning? And can I do it in a way that's going to allow me to come out of this prep? And even if it's not perfect, I shouldn't be 
like spiraling. I shouldn't be completely averse to following any kind of dietary regimen to the point that I'm like, no, like I I don't want to track. I don't want to eat any of the foods I was eating during prep. And really you have to ask yourself, like, am I setting myself up for a cycle of deprivation and indulgence post diet? And if the answer is no, like you're building up dietary debt that eventually is going to, you're going to need to pay off with, um, a, you know, a large degree of physical recovery as when as as well as like a period of mental recalibration. Well, the longer you accumulate this debt, the harder it's going to be to maintain that progress. So, it's important to evaluate the true cost of your diet and everything that goes into you know what you're sacrificing. Which is why, rather than someone like completely turning their life upside down and creating this environment that they're only able to sustain with the hope of a show in mind, to me, I feel like that that almost definitively puts them in a position where coming out of it, they're going to revert back to their previous behaviors and likely put themselves in a position where they're gaining weight at an unexpectedly quick rate. 